I don't know what happened to me this morning. A couple came in talking about marijuana cookies, dogs, and selling knickknacks on a computer. Wait until you see what they have to say. Divorce court is now in session. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here with Brandon Weaver and Jara Askey. The two of you have been together for nine years. You do not want to be together anymore. Ms. Askey, you, you are seeking uh, uh, moving expenses, and we will talk about that momentarily. But before we do, Mr. Weaver, why don't you tell me a little bit about your relationship and why it's ending today? Your Honor, it's ending today because uh, I'm tired. I'm tired of taking care of her financially. Uh, when we first got together, she, you know, and she still is very artistically mm -hmm. inclined and, uh, you know, I thought that was really cool. I mean, that was cool nine years ago, but right. now we're talking about business and, mm -hmm. and um, you know, I had been working three jobs. I was in the Army Reserve doing credit restoration and parking cars part-time, um, doing valet work. And um, basically, I'm paying the majority of the rent, the bills, the, the utilities, taking care of the dogs, food, and just... Pretty much everything. I'm, I'm pretty much the financial breadwinner, and uh, it's exhausting. I've asked her, you know, she, she, she was selling some pins, some, some flare, some pieces of pins and buttons online, right? And I'm like, what are you, what are you doing? What are you selling? How much money are you making at this? And she mm -hmm. gets upset. She doesn't want me to find out what's going on in her finances. Mm -hmm. But those are our finances because I'm supporting stuff. And I ask her, I'm like, you know, you're, you're cool with me paying more rent. And she's like, well, you make more money. Well, I'm, not, I'm hustling, making more money. I'm doing what I have to do because you're not fulfilling. Get your hustle on. Yeah. Ms. Askey, do, do, do you there need to get your hustle on? Judge, OK. He forgets to tell a part of the story where he forced us into a more expensive apartment because he had to have a dog that we had to move to get into that apartment that I already told him I could not afford. So we would, were only in that situation because he put us in that situation. So you're saying had you stayed in the other apartment, you could have paid more of your way. You can't really afford this upgraded place. Of course. I was very committed to the apartment we first had, and then he went through a year of being obsessed with dogs, and then we got a dog, they kicked us out of that apartment, we had to find a nice one. She wanted a dog did herself. She wanted a dog, too. She was raised with a dog. She had, uh... But did you get a more expensive apartment so you could have a dog? Your Honor, that's... Yes, that's true. See? That's very true. Don't we see, had now, to... I love dogs. I have a dog. Yeah. But I would not buy a house for a dog. <laughs> or I wouldn't... I wouldn't break my budget if I can't afford a dog. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It I was understand. a dog. I, I mean, understand. I love dogs, yeah. but... but... Your Honor, since I've... Since Sorry, I've... Ace Boogie. That's my dog. <laughs> um, Mr. Weaver, other than the finances, I mean, finances are one thing, but why is the relationship off the rails emotionally? Or is pretty it all much... about the money? I mean, um, pretty much... It could much... be. She she says that I, I'm not emotionally available, but I'm telling her that Honor, I'm, I'm tired judge, from having... We have not spent a single Valentine's together in nine years. Not one. That's because I am he working. He missed my graduation from college for work. I had to... He I had the Army Reserve. I for was... work. He missed every single Valentine's Day. I think that's a very forgiving girlfriend to be like, it's fine to... You have never spent a single Valentine's Day with me. I have been working during those periods of time, Your Honor. Even yeah. during when she graduated college, I was in the Army Reserve. That's a one. That's a mandatory weekend that I have to do. I have I been can't. accused of being a court low on estrogen, but I agree with Mr. Weaver. Who cares about Valentine's Thank Day? Thank you, Your Honor. You Thank you. I'm not saying that home. every single <laughs> Valentine's Day. I've been hearing that for years. Are you kidding me? Who Just cares? one out of nine. I can't get one day, one special day, and birthdays alone. Oh, I gotta work. Oh, I have to pay the bills. Oh, don't believe all of that. Whole stuff. It's no, no. That's not about that. I'd rather have a man working than coming home Thank you. on Valentine's Day. Give me a call. I can see you on the weekend. You know, get That's your work saying. done. That's what I'm saying. What is your main complaint about him? He, uh, he's mad because you don't have any money. What are you mad about? I'm mad that he's a cheapskate because he he forces us into these expensive situations, but he doesn't ever bring up the fact of like why we're struggling already. Well, How why about are when you struggling? I went and get, oh, he went and got a marijuana card, and then he bought himself marijuana for his birthday, got himself a little cookie, ate the whole cookie, 
hide for all weekend. <laughs> <laughs> that must have been one heck of a cookie. Uh, what? Three Your Honor, days. The serving Three side days. said one cookie. The it's serving okay. side said one Everybody cookie. Everybody knows you don't eat the whole cookie. I didn't know. Everybody knows that. <laughs> I didn't you watch know. a movie, was, you know that. I was a patient. <laughs> Mr. Weaver, were you high all weekend? <laughs> Three days, Your Honor, I was high for three days. Then yeah. got Did you ever paranoid. get concerned? I was, because I went to, yeah. went to the hospital. He called the hospital, he called the ambulance up once, but twice. Did he they pick you up? Twice. Yeah, they picked me up, yeah. And what did you tell them? Mm. You were high? You yeah, come I down? had a hash cookie, and then the police were invested. They were like, oh, it's, he has a, a marijuana card, so it's legal, it's Did fine. they take you to the hospital? Yeah, they took me to the hospital, and <laughs> they said there was nothing they could do for me. Yeah, so they I told me that. <laughs> hey, don't do that. Yeah. The whole time he was high, he was like, you, I don't believe you. I don't trust you. Because he was all paranoid. He was like, you don't, you, you're lying to me. I'm going to be stuck like this forever. I thought I and was. <laughs> well, that's, yeah, you know, that, that, that's high thinking. You yeah. know, that paranoia. I guess that's, 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 that's <laughs> he's mad because you don't drive. He says you, he is your own personal chauffeur, and that's not by, his, by choice. Do you uh, not drive? I do drive, but anytime I am behind the wheel, I am yelled at. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh! oh, 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 oh Your Honor, oh. she is a in traffic. <laughs> she is a dangerous driver. Okay? She's a bad driver. She's I dangerous. am defensive, and I am sure she's offensive. Of getting out of the way. She is a dangerous driver. She parked my vehicle in a red zone uh -huh. and got it totaled. Somebody hit my car. My second car, the car that I purchased so she could drive around, or just, a, you know, another bucket. Did you get the car totaled by parking I in the red zone? I wasn't in the car! The guy yeah, hit but you put, wasn't there! Yeah, but you put it somewhere it wasn't supposed to be, though, right? For, like, two seconds. And that's all it took. <laughs> I also bought him a car when we moved out here, so it's just like, well, when I needed a car, then he bought me a car. You forget, I bought you your first car here. Yeah, yeah, but that was... Seven years ago. It's been six years of me being the one that takes well, care Ms. of the Asky, finances. Well, Ms. Askey, what do you do for a living? I sell arts and crafts on, online. Online. How much do you pull down every year? Enough to pay all my bills. All of your bills or all of your bills? All do you contribute to the, to the communal pot? Yes, I, I don't think do. so. I don't oh, think so. I don't oh, think so. No, 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 she no. She takes care of herself. We split everything. If we go on a no. date, he don't pay, pay for the whole thing. I pay for half. Sometimes I, pay for my I half. do pay He's for so the date. I do pay for extra like, movie experience. I pay sorry. for extra food. Been together food. nine years. You go Dutch on dates, huh? Th that's what <laughs> I'm saying. <laughs> Because I'm paying more in rent. I'm paying more for the dog. I'm paying more for the cars. I'm, I'm strong, paying more for the utilities. I'm a strong, independent woman. I don't have to have my boyfriend pay for me on dates. So because I'm paying myself on dates, yeah, the dog that you pushed to get, maybe you pay that extra $20 in a month for the dog. It's making it but sound the, like I got, I, I, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. We're going to change topics real quick here. Why do you say he lacks confidence, though? I don't understand that part. Home, he's like, oh, my God, if I have to hear another, oh, I'm not doing good enough at work. I'm like, it sounds like a woman coming home saying that, oh, I'm concerned about what everybody else at work has to, has to do. With. He don't, don't, don't bother. Here I go. Are you recently married but ready to call it quits? Call toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or visit our website at divorcecourt.com. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Divorce Court. When I read your papers, I got confused. I read about all the jobs he has, that he cleaned up his own credit, so he started to do it as a business because he was so good at it, and that he was in the Army Reserve and he was valeting cars. And then you said in your papers that he has no drive, no confidence, and you have to be his constant cheerleader, and you over there selling knickknacks online. <laughs> what I, I want to know is, how could that be when the man has three jobs? Uh, had three jobs. He does not have currently three jobs. Well, how many does he have? One. Well, that's how much, many jobs most people have is one job. <laughs> why, why do you say he lacks confidence, though? I don't understand that come part. come home and be like, oh, I shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have said that at work. Shouldn't have done that at work. Oh, I don't think I'm doing good enough at work. 
Oh my God, if I have to hear another, oh, I'm not doing good enough at work. I'm like, it sounds like a woman coming home saying that, oh, I'm concerned about what everybody else at work has to, has to do. <clears throat> he don't don't, tell don't you bother, here I go. <laughs> Let me tell you something. You better be glad that man is concerned about what they think about him at work. If they don't like what he's doing at work, he won't have that job anymore. And if he doesn't have that job anymore, he can't support you so you can go play online and, and sell knickknacks. Oh. Did I take care of it well enough for you? Thank you, Your Honor. You're welcome. Anytime. <laughs> m m m Mr. Askey, is it solely a money issue with her? You guys have problems about cleaning and cooking and who's yeah. doing what for whom. I Why mean, don't you tell me about that? I'm the only one that cleans the bathroom, really. Oh, you know? because he's the only one that leaves number twos in the bathroom every oh, morning. Oh, Lord! Oh, Lord! That is an issue with the plumbing, Your Honor. That is, it is a low flow in, toilet. It's a I don't even care. Twice. I'm telling you. I don't you, even not... care. <laughs> Somebody say something I'm going to want to hear. The dog is another issue. I Let's mean, talk about the dog. What's was, happening with the dog? There was one day where the dog was sick. I thought he was sick. I rushed him to the vet. I was concerned about him, Freckles. The, 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 <laughs> Freckles. He came with that name, Your Honor, from the, from the rescue. And the, he always say that. He always say, oh, he came with that He name. came with that name. People always Because it's not manly enough for him. He's insecure what people think of his dog's name. It's, it's a funny name. Anyway, any case, I take the dog to the vet. And the, the vet base says, oh, we'll just give him some over-the-counter uh, antacid. He'll be fine, whatever. And I come home, and she's like, well, you overreacted to this vet. You thought he was sick. You, you overreacted, took him to the vet. Um, because he I'm not bitched gonna... about stop, having stop, to pay $100. Stop, 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 I'm not going to pay. I'm not going to help pay for this dog for the, for the vet bill. And I'm like, all right, that's something else that I have to take care of. And I'm like, but he's an animal. Like, he didn't have any choice in this, in this matter. And I'm like, I want to get him um, his teeth cleaned. And I'm like, he has to go under to get his teeth cleaned. And she's like, no, I don't want to do that. I'm scared. You have, what to, if put well, the you dog... have to knock the dog out in order to have his yes, teeth cleaned? Yes, properly, Your Honor, yes. To have his teeth properly cleaned so he doesn't get all the plaque and the gingivitis and all that stuff. His gums were bleeding last night, actually. And she's like, oh, I'm scared. I think he's going to die if we put him under. I'm like, that's a risk we have to take. He's not going to have any teeth. He's not going to be able to eat. This is something that we have to get done. And I've been fighting her on that for months, months now. Mr. Askey, do you want the dog's gum to be bleeding? Of course and he'd be I don't all want the sad gum. and can't eat? <laughs> no, you know, do, no. Do, do, we brush his teeth are you every unkind? night. I brush his teeth every oh night. Oh, my God. I don't brush my dog's teeth. <laughs> you know, I give him one of those little dog chewy chews, and then, you know, it's all good. He has his own toothbrush. The dog has his own toothbrush. He gets his teeth brushed. I don't want him to be in pain, but it's also a matter, he doesn't understand the risks involved of putting your dog under. They could just not come back. They've, I've had people it's happened to. Well, it's I got the impression you weren't all that altogether fond of freckles. I do like freckles. I do love freckles, but I'm saying that the first instance to get freckles was Brandon pushing, pushing, pushing when I was like, I don't have the money But you're for mad dog. that he got a vet bill. Because he's trying to make me pay for it. When oh. I was like, he didn't need to go there. We can, we can take care of him here. I just he need, overreacted. I just need some help once in a while, you know? Gotcha, Something. gotcha, gotcha. So he was a lot happier when he was chubbier and more fun to be around, and then he got all fit. What, you went low carb or something? Because that can make you cranky. Yeah. <laughs> I'd get a little cranky, Your Honor. That's true. I'd get yeah, a little cranky. Yeah. If you would like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Divorce Court. Now, Mr. Weaver, Ms. Askey, you've been together nine years. You argued about, you know, <laughs> getting high and staying high too long. <laughs> And the dog and the toothbrush. You guys aren't really mad at each other, are you? Well, you know what? Well, let me ask you this, Mr. Weaver. In nine years, she's a nice looking lady. She's mm -hmm. been with you for a long time. Why are you guys living together for nine years and nobody's gotten married? Oh, he did propose. I'd love to tell this story. Well, please do. <laughs> it was last year in front of the computer in our, in our apartment. He got down on one knee pointed to a picture of a ring and asked me to marry him. A $17.95 ring. 
First, you could have at least pointed to some kind of rock, even if you were going to go buy it. You know, you should have gone big with the bling if it was just a picture. What, what, what was with the proposal? First of all, that ring was very specific to her artistic style. She's very picky about things. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the money to me wasn't a huge issue. I was like, oh, this is specific to her. She was going to really like that ring. Um, and I didn't want to wait to get the ring. I felt compelled at the time to propose to her. I was like, man, it's time to do this. It's been a long, long, long time. time. It's been a long time. I can't wait another day, OK? So I was going to do it. And I was like, I don't care if I have a ring or not. And I knew she was going to be picky. I didn't think that she was going to be interested in this ring in any way. I thought I was going to have to It was to just a cute idea. Yeah, and she was going to like, and she was going to be interested in getting married. And then we would pick out a ring together. Because I know that she is very specific and about uh, certain things, uh, specifically what she wears. So well, did I you knew... say yes? No. <laughs> you didn't say yes? No. Why? I didn't feel like if he felt the need, we've been together that long, he, to do something special. Mm -hmm. He hasn't been with me in any Valentine's Days, missed birthdays, missed all that stuff. So at least like this moment, like spend, he couldn't have spent a little bit of time. He Googled a quick ring that was different. Listen, my husband and I were in an argument when he proposed to me. <laughs> he, we, we, we were arguing about something. He says, this is terrible. I just bought you a ring and everything. <laughs> That's how I found out. <laughs> and I've had him for 26 years. Don't get stuck on the dumb stuff. I mean, you know, it, it <laughs> Valentine's Day and the right ring and all this kind of stuff. You know, sometimes I think women are just silly. You know, because of all of that fluffy stuff and all of that going on. You got a guy who's working, got a couple of jobs, you getting his car totaled, you know, you know. It, hey. It's been it's been weird too, cause like I I've been trying to improve myself consistently, as you see. Mm -hmm. And I got myself into shape, you know? Oh. Another way to spend time away from me. We have a picture of you before. You got it together. Let's see yeah. what you looked like before you got it together. Oh, my. <laughs> nice job. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. So I did that. Didn't you appreciate that at all? Uh, I did, but also, see, appreciated what I had before as well. Thank you very much. I mean, yeah, sure. She, she did. She likes that, sure, he, but... Honestly, he was a lot happier when he was chubbier and more fun to be around, and then he got all fit. What, and you went low-carb or something? Because that can make you cranky. Yeah. <laughs> I'd get a little crankier on it, that's true. i get yeah, a little cranky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, did, I went low-carb once, and my husband took one day just said, hey, baby, you need to eat a cracker. <laughs> In divorce court, people tell me the most intimate details of their lives. Join the conversation and share your experience on our Twitter page at Divorce Court and on our Facebook page. See how fans deal with their own relationships. The discussion can get heated. Don't miss it. I know exactly what happened here. You and you and Freckles <laughs> were sitting on a couch. Nothing to do. We don't own a couch. <laughs> you and you and Freckles were sitting on the floor. <laughs> Nothing to do. Divorce court comes on and you said, hey, she seems like a lovely lady. Let's go meet her and bother her. <laughs> Let's go. She seems like her job is far too easy for her. So what we're going to do <laughs> is we're going to think up of a couple of stories that will annoy the living daylights out of this woman. We're going to call up that number. They flash on the screen. Baby, write it down. 877-311-2222. And we're going to interrupt your day. Consider my day interrupted. I am not going to consider the 850 because you two aren't going anywhere. And even if you do, Goodbye. <laughs> if there's anything we can learn from Brandon and Jera, it's this. Don't let small matters and bickering let you forget the fact that you actually love each other. Submit your case at divorcecourt.com.